Hello fellow travelers. Uh, we have some good news today. Uh, we just got notification from uh, OFAC, the, the Treasury Department from the United States that they're going to authorize people to people, group people to people travel uh, to Cuba, which is good because it, it gives a, a lot more um, uh, availability for the, con the content and the itinerary. Uh, there also was a recent uh, Department of Transportation reversed all of the any sort of um, rules against uh, traveling to other provinces in Cuba. So before there was a limit on charter flights as well as flights to um, other parts of the country in Cuba. Um, so now, uh, in theory, there should be more availability for charter flights. You should be able to fly to many different provinces. We haven't seen those flights yet, but they are permitted. Um, and the, the main thing is that uh, group people to people and, and what that means is is that tour operators are able to uh, have a little bit more diversity in their uh, in their itineraries and they also could probably use hotels um, for whatever hotels aren't, aren't on the restricted list because there's a pretty large restricted list of accommodations you can't use in Cuba um, but there are a few uh, hotels so for people who you know absolutely don't want to stay in, in someone's home uh, that gives more opportunity to stay in a hotel um, I, I imagine that a lot of tour operators are going to jump on this and uh, take advantage of it. The difference between people to people and support for the Cuban people, um, just kind of giving a basic rundown of that. Um, for group people to people, there has to be someone in the group from the United States that is under U.S. jurisdiction. So the tour, the tour leader, for example. Um, and then support, you know, support for the Cuban people, like people to people, first of all, people to people is more of just about interactions with Cuban people. So you could go to, you know, a non prohibited government place and just spend time talking to Cuban people, um, sharing experiences, you know, learning from each other. That's a, a non academic, um, style of people to people, um, which it falls under an educational category, but it's not through like a university or anything like that. That's why a lot of tour operators use that license. Um, support for the Cuban people is the way that individuals can travel to Cuba without, um, without a tour operator. So if an individual wants to travel to Cuba, they can create an itinerary. It's kind of the hard part is to figure out what to do if you've never been there. But um, in general, staying in a private casa, casa particular, uh, eating at private restaurants, paladares, paying taxis directly, paying for experiences like, you know, for example, with Havana Music Tours, we have experiences um, to go out and see music, uh, to take music lessons, dance lessons, stuff like that. Any of that stuff that you, you can pay the Cubans directly or an entity like us that we pay the Cubans directly. Um, that all counts as support for the Cuban people. So they're kind of similar, but it gets a little confusing. Um, the main thing is that if you want to travel by yourself, you can travel under support for the Cuban people. And if you travel with a tour group and you want to stay in a hotel and you want that comfort, then that's going to be uh, through a tour operator or some sort of sponsoring uh, organization. If they were to put groups together, then they can they can travel in that way. So yeah, good news coming for uh, for Cuba rules. And we're looking forward to seeing uh, how this helps Cuba.